Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I had to think about it and I remembered to do our live today. I can't believe I forgot yesterday. <laughs> it has been a week. It has been a week. Let's see if I am in the right place. I am. All right. Good. Now I see. All right. Okay. Now you guys are jumping on. Hello. I remembered to go live today. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot yesterday. In my defense, I have two defenses, Your Honor. <laughs> when I knew that I was going to have to take tomorrow off, I thought, okay, do I want to add that day on the end or do I want to bump it and do it at the beginning? Well, I decided to do it at the beginning, which would have been yesterday. But in my mind yesterday, I was thinking I had added it to the end. And then I was designing January's Club Create, which is amazing, and I was deep in creative mode. So I have two excuses. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I totally ghosted you guys yesterday. Um, I wouldn't have even realized it until someone emailed me. So, whew, mom brain, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, I'm excited for today. We are gonna do two projects with Penguin Place. This is not Facebook Friday. It'll be a little bit different each, each day. I'm gonna do 12 days of Facebook Lives, uh, each day showcasing a different um, Christmas stamp set. And I have it all planned out. You guys hopefully have seen <laughs> this that I have had to change a couple of times. Um, so I have all the products picked out that I'm gonna use. Um, I actually have almost, well, three-fourths of them already designed and everything. However, the last chance list came out today. Have you guys checked out the last chance list? That means it's the retired list. We used to call it the retired list. Now it's called the last chance list. So the retired list came out and all of these things are while supplies last. So if something sells out before I get to show you it, I'll have to scramble and do something else. So everything is tentative. <laughs> including me showing up. It's tentative. I don't know. Hopefully that won't happen again. But anyhow, that's what we're going to do. Um, over on my blog each day, hopefully the post will go up at the same time I go live. Um, I'm not typing up a PDF each day. I just trying to simplify things a little bit, but I do have a supply list at the bottom and the measurements will be under each photo. Okay. There's going to be a giveaway each day. And instead of commenting here, there's a link on my blog. It's like a little survey. You go over and each day I'll ask you a different question. Like what's your favorite Christmas dessert? What's your favorite stamp set? And then the next day that I'm live, I will pick a winner. Okay. And over there, you're going to give me your mailing address only because I'll be able to mail it to you. I won't have to wait for you to email me and all that. So I'm not going to send you anything. Don't worry. It's just so I can mail you a prize if you win. Okay. All right. So let me run through everything I have over here. First, most importantly, it's last chance list, which means retired list, right? Retired, everything that's retiring from the holiday catalog um, is on the last chance list. And there's a lot of things that are significantly discounted. Um, some dyes, now I'm gonna be honest, I have not read through the whole list. <laughs> I haven't, haven't had time. But I will tell you that there are some dyes um, that are on sale. Let me see. 50% off the stocking dies, right? Did I imagine that? No, yeah. Stocking dies, 50% off. Um, the leaf, beautiful, where is it? Beautiful leaves dies, 50% off. Cutest Halloween stamp set, 50% off. Um, Wiseman tidying dies, 50% off. And I just designed those projects yesterday. I hope those don't sell out because I can't wait to show you what I came up with. Um, Christmas cheer dies, Holly border punch, 50% off. No, is that right? No, no, 20% off. I don't have my glasses. 50% off is the cloche dies. So you guys need to look at this, okay? I will update this video with a link that includes this easy to read PDF. Um, and uh, you need to look through it. You can also go click stampinup.com. At the very top, there is a tab that says sales and specials, something like that. When you click on that, it'll say last chance list. You click on that and that'll show you everything that's leaving and anything that's on sale will be marked, it'll have like red writing next to it, I believe. The other thing I need to tell you is that when you click on that sales and special tab at the top, click on clearance rack. 
because they added a bunch of things to the clearance rack last night too. Like all this amazing stuff is on sale today. So make sure you go over there and look, all right? While supplies last. There is also a list of carryover items, which means these items from the holiday catalog will be carried over into next year's holiday catalog. So they're not leaving. Um, I believe, mm, don't quote me, I think they said they would still be available online. Until then, uh, see, this is what happens when you're too busy. You don't read all the details. Anyhow, I will post this list too. Things like, I was really happy with this list. Um, where did I see the pillow box dies are carrying over? They're not retiring, which I'm very happy about. Craft paper, my black and white ribbon. The penguin place um, that we're doing today is going to carry over. Um, so all of that, you need to look at it. I will update the links here. But I'm done, so you can go check it out, okay? Okay, all right, so that's that. Next on the list is the new All-Star Tutorial Bundle is out. It is the Bloom Where You're Planted All-Star Tutorial. 12, let's see if I can show you, 12 tutorials, each designed by a different demonstrator, each featuring the Bloom Where You're Planted suite. If you are a subscriber, I mailed these out this morning around 10 a.m. If you didn't get it, email me. If you are a demonstrator or you are not my customer and you'd like to buy it, it's in my PDF store. If you are my customer and you put in an order that is over $50, I will send it to you for free. They're all videos, um, video links, so they're video tutorials. And mine is a calendar this year or this month, so check it out, okay? So free with a $50 order. All right, next up, the calendar class. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, We ha I don't think I've been live, have I been live since it, have I been live since I put the calendar class out? I don't think I did, I have. Anyway, the calendar class features Days to Remember stamp set and the um, What a Year Memory and More cards. So I'll give you a little, a little taste of what it looks like. It's not going to stay on the easel. There it is. There's each month. There's a little video that shows you how to use the calendar stamp. It's very clever. Um, and what I decided to do, because the calendar um, because the calendar stamp set doesn't have images, it just has the calendar, I decided to pull all the bundles that I used for um, Stamp Club or Club Create this month or this year. And I used all of those for the calendars. So you can use what you have. You can use what I used. You can sub, you can do whatever you want. Um, but I have them all listed on the registration page, okay? Um, if you are a Club Create member, you'll probably have every single one of the bundles because that's what we use for Club Create. So this class is with the stamp set, 57. Without the stamp set, it's 45. When you buy it with the stamp set, you're getting the pearls, a pack of pearls for free. You're also getting a pack of twine. Um, the, the, without the, you'll need the calendar stamp set, right? So if you already have it, that's when you choose the second level without the stamp set. Um, there's also PDF version, it's already in my PDF store. And then my team, my Sweet Stampede team gets it for $25. Deadline is December 14th. It will not arrive in time for Christmas. It will arrive either like the day before or a couple of days after Christmas because I am only human <laughs> and I cannot um, crank this out in like two hours. It's gonna take me several, several, several days. So it'll be your New Year's project, okay? Okay, prizes. Oh no, let me tell you one more time. Um, what is today? Is today the seventh? Oh, the first, hello. Oh my gosh, it's not the seventh. Club Create, you have until the 7th. <laughs> you guys can see where I'm at, right? I'm just overloaded. Do you guys feel like that? It's a lot, a lot going on in December. Anyway, Club Create for December is the Sweet Symmetry Sweet Bundle. Um, we're making a card set with a box. Um, it is a subscription. You have until the 7th to subscribe, $39 a month. Um, you can cancel any time. If you stay for six months, you get $25 in product credit. If you would like to know what January's Club Create, do I have it here? I do not. If you want to know what January's Club Create kit is going to feature, I will tell you. 
It's the rainbow set from the upcoming spring catalog. Rainbows, think bright, bold, beautiful, fun, so excited. I have made about 10 projects already with the rainbow bundle. It is gorgeous. It has celebration paper that coordinates. All of that will come out January 4th, okay? Um, next week, once the deadline has passed for this Club Crete, I will give you a little sneak peek, okay? Okay, prizes from the last time I was live. We have two winners, Ramona Culp. Ramona, I feel like I, feel like I have both of your mailing addresses, but uh, I always worry that people have moved because that happens and I don't check. I just use whatever's in my address book. So if you move, email me. <laughs> but Ramona and Joan Gordon, please email me. You both have won the Seasons of Fun stamp set. Thank you for sharing my video last week. Last week? Week before last? Has it been two weeks? It's all just a blur, you guys. It's all a blur. Um, I'm looking over here at my messy counter. I still have pillow box, pretty pillow box treats, class to go kits, if you want one. I also have Be Jolly stamp a stack card class to go kits. If you're interested in those, please email me or check my blog for the details. Okay, we made it to the bottom of the pile. So if you missed me at the beginning, this is day one. Should be day two, but I forgot. Today is day one of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. I'm gonna do 12 different um, stamp sets, two projects each, hopefully. And um, I'll be live every day at two o'clock, except for tomorrow. My mom and I are going out of town for the day. And then I won't be live on the weekend. So it'll be today and Friday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday the next week, okay? I'm sorry if I've confused you. Obviously, I'm confused myself. <laughs> Anyhow, the, it'll be different. So there's a host code. And if you want to earn three make and takes, it'll be one from today, one from Friday, and one from Monday. Any order you put in between now and Monday at midnight that is over $35 and uses this host code will earn those three make and takes for free. I will cut them on Tuesday and mail them on Wednesday. And then on Tuesday, we'll start again. I'll pick three make and takes for you to get for free. Okay, there'll be three make and takes for free each time. Um, the host code is here. It Now, it does say all orders over $35 will receive Friday's make and takes. Well, not Friday. <laughs> one from today, one from Friday, and one from Monday. Because, you know, we're doing 12 days. Okay? All right. I think... Oh, 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 here's the other thing I need to tell you. Each day, I'm going to give away a really good prize. Today, I'm giving away the Bright Bobbles um, bundle. Do you guys remember when we did this for Facebook Friday? I love it. I'm not, I'm not going to pick from people who share the video. You have to go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down, and there's a link that says click here to enter to win. I'm asking you your favorite stamp set, your email address and your mailing address. And I will pick a winner and announce it on Friday. And then I'll have another bundle for you to give away on Friday, okay? So to enter to win, you gotta go to my blog and do a little clickety-clack, as Hoda says, all right? <laughs> okay, let me turn you guys around. I think I covered it all. So here's another little thing about this week, projects. Usually I do a clean recording, you know, like I, I pre-record for YouTube. Well, I'm not doing that this time. You're gonna just have this recording. Obviously, I'll put this one on YouTube. Fingers crossed that FB does what it's supposed to do. And then, that's it. But here's the other, here's the one little problem with that, is that when I do the clean recordings, it's like a dress rehearsal. So then I work out all the kinks ahead of time. So, I haven't done that, which means I probably forgot something and I'll probably screw something up. But you know what? I'm human, right? You guys don't care, do you? You don't care, do you? Surely not. Okay, well, let's get started. So we're using Penguin Place. This punch matches the stamp set, and it was on back order, unorderable for like months. I, I, oh, I need to turn the fan down. I, I'm guessing it had something to do with the supply chain. I don't know, but it was forever, but it's back in stock. So I'm like, we're doing this first, because I don't know if it's going to go back on back order or whatever. But I did just see on that last chance list that it's carrying over, which is great because it's so good. 
Um, we're gonna make this card right here. And we're also gonna use the Knit Together background stamp with our Stamparatus. These little penguins are like um, paper dolls, I feel like. There's all these little cute accessories. So we're gonna do all kinds of little things with them. And then we're gonna make a little chocolate holder. I found a really great penguin chocolate, okay? All right, let's make our penguins first, all right? You're gonna need a piece of basic white. And I am using Memento, Soft Suede, Real Red, Pool Party, and Calypso. Um, we are gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. So those of you who don't like my fussy cutting, sorry, not sorry, I think it's worth it. We're gonna stamp, you can do this penguin two different ways. You can stamp him or you can do punch art. And we'll do punch art in a minute on the next project, okay? So I'm gonna stamp his cute little body three times. And I'm notice I'm spreading him out. I'm not putting them right next to each other because when I punch him, and look, I'm already gonna have to cut my paper. When I punch, this is gonna punch at the same time. So spread them out, okay? So let me put this guy up here. So we've got those three, and this stamp has the eyes on it already, so we don't need to stamp the eyes. Um, we've got the little beak, which just fell off. Woo! Hopefully it'll stay. My blocks are so cruddy, I meant to give them a bath before today, and I have not. Oh, yeah. All right, little beak, and I will tell you the first time I stamped this guy, I was confused about where the little beak goes. I put it way down here like this, and I was like, okay, that looks weird. Make sure you put it right there at the end of that little, that little black V that goes down, you know, that little boop, like that. Um, okay, we've got that. Da, 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 da. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the scarf in real red. Oh, now I can see y'all's comments. On my phone, I wasn't seeing any comments. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Erica's Crazy Show. <laughs> I can't make any promises today. Things might get a little crazy. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got all of that. Did I miss anything? We've got the hat and the scarf. We're going to do the feet in a second. Um, well, you know what? It would be nice if I had some adhesive over here, or some scissors. Hold on. Let me get all my stuff. Hold on. That's what happens when you haven't been live for two weeks. All right, let me cut this apart because I stamped him. You know, I always tell you guys to look at your punches before you stamp so that you know which direction to stamp them, and I didn't do that. All right, so we're gonna line him up right there. Um, it should be, Kim, is the post not up on my blog? Did it not go up? It should have, I set it to go off today. Maybe I set it at three o'clock because I was originally gonna go live at three o'clock. Let me open my computer and I'll get it to go live. Hold on. Let me bring it over here while I'm working. Let's see. You know, I have a new um, blog. Um, blog, um, not provider, but it host. And so I'm still trying to figure out my... <laughs> my blog. Hopefully I can figure it out. Um, let's see. We'll get this guy. And you're right. It's not up. Okay. Let me, let me sign in and I will make it go live. Cause I don't want you guys to forget to enter the login. And if you're watching live, you might forget to come back. So let me go update it. Posts day one penguins. All right, we want you to go live right now. No, we don't want you to schedule. Publish. Reset. Publish. Okay, you guys give it a try. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. It should be up now. Okay, now it's up. Now see if you can go find that link to enter for the prize. Thank you for asking. Now, these little feet. These little feet are tiny, but we don't have to fussy cut them because there's little feet part of the punch. So I'm gonna stamp six feet in 
Calypso Coral. The reason I'm using Calypso Coral is because the Penguin DSP that we had during celebration had Calypso Coral in it. It didn't have pumpkin pie, it had Calypso Coral. I really like Calypso Coral, but you can use pumpkin pie. All right, so then now, you can also, what I'll show you in a minute when we make the next guy, when we do punch art, if you don't want to stamp these, because they are tiny and kind of persnickety, you can just punch out cardstock for the feet. See, it's very hard to hold it still. Let's see. Um, come on. I hope you guys all had a nice Thanksgiving. It feels like Thanksgiving was a really long time ago. <sighs> Alicia, it's dreary there. It's warm here and I don't like it. High of like 78 this week. Ugh. I want, you know, in December, I want cold Christmas type weather. I know you guys up, up north, you don't, you don't like the cold weather because you have too much of it. That's how I feel about warm weather here. We have too much. All right. Well, my glue is coming out. Whoa. Whoa coming out like gangbusters. Okay, now, why is everything not here when you need it? Um, the take your pick tool is missing. Ah, no, that's not it, here it is. Take your pick tool will help you with these guys. You just pick it up and put it in your glue like that. Like that. I love this take your pick tool. I ran out of putty. You can buy putty refills for your take your pick tool if you run out of putty like me. I use the putty end, I think, the most on my take your pick tool of the other, most compared to the other ends that you can get. Okay, so now, did I throw away? Nope, here it is, I did. I just threw it over here. Now, we have, we're gonna give one of these guys a scarf and one of them a hat, and one of them the reindeer antlers, but we are not going to fuzzy cut the reindeer antlers because I'm not crazy. I'm not a complete crazy person. <laughs> Those would be way too, way too tricky. We're gonna stamp them flat behind our penguin when we get all of our pieces ready, okay? So there's our scarf and the little hat. Round and around. And there. I always recommend that you use your little sharp paper snips for um, fussy cutting because you can get in all the little nooks and crannies easier than with these big scissors like this. All right. Now, we'll set those aside so that we can ink up our background, give them a few minutes to dry. Let me move my computer back over. Now we're gonna need some grid paper. So let me grab some grid paper. And I have cut out ahead of time. You know what, I don't need this cut and emboss machine. Let me move that. Ahead of time, I cut out a contour scallop, stitch scallop right here. And we're gonna ink it with Pool Party and a blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges like this. And why does that not look like Pool Party? Because I grabbed the wrong blending brush. Okay, hold please. See, I told you guys we're going to have a few little mix-ups today, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, where is my pool party blending brush? <gasps> it's missing. Oh, you know what? Maybe I used Night of Navy after. Yeah, I did. I used Night of Navy yesterday. That's why that looked like Navy. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go. Pool party... And we're gonna go around the edges. And I'm just gonna kind of go around in an arc like this. 
I want to leave it lighter in the middle. Whew, I'm already sweating. It's hot in here. I turn the fan down so the camera won't shake. And then I'm like dying. Have you guys shopped already the, um, the last chance list? Have you checked it out? It's really a good, I feel like it's a good sale this time. And I'm very happy with what's carrying over. My black and white gingham ribbon, yes. I was thinking like, what am I gonna do without that ribbon? And now I don't have to find out. All right, a little bit more and then we'll call it done. All right, I'm gonna take my little snowflake stamps and go around kind of in an arc also like that. Now ahead of time, I cut out an iceberg. Did you know we have an iceberg? It's from the Arctic Bears um, bundle, very cute. Very cute. I haven't used that bundle yet. I can't wait. I've got it on our list towards the end. All right, we're going to put our little iceberg there. And then we're going to put, we're going to make our little pyramid of penguins. And we'll do the scarf guy right here. And the hat guy. Ooh, they're still wet. Hat guy right there. Then we're going to put this guy here, but wait, we've got to put the reindeer antlers on him. And I'm going to put him down. Let's see. We may have to move. Let's move these guys down so we have room for the antlers. Okay. I'm going to put him right there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to put him, I'm not going to stick him down yet. I'm going to get my antlers and I'm going to kind of guesstimate where he's going to be. I think I'll slide him down and do like that, okay? So then now I can put him there and the antlers will be right on top of his head. One thing I did on my sample, I didn't like that white line right there. Well, let me put him down first and then we'll do it. So you can get your soft suede stamp and blend. And let me get it lined up. Well, maybe he's gonna go down a little bit. Well, no like that. You can get your soft suede stamp and blend and just draw in the little headband part like that. Okay, let me go a little bit further. See how that works? All right. Now let's stamp our sentiment which is somewhere here in real red. And there's a teeny tiny little heart in this set that I absolutely love. We're gonna stamp that right there. And then with your trimmer or your scissors, we're just gonna cut a little rectangle. We don't want anything big and flashy because we don't want it to take away from our cute little pyramid penguin. Right, right there. Okay, did I forget anything? I feel like I forgot something. Hmm, no? Okay, all right, let's set that aside. Now, let's make our card base. We're almost done. And we're gonna use the knit together background stamp and we're only gonna we're only gonna stamp half the card front and the reason I, th I didn't really know what I was gonna do with this when I first stamped it but that's what I decided to do you could do the whole card front if you want and I'm actually going to ink it and stamp on the grid paper first and I didn't do the whole stamp and then I'm going to take my card front. I'm going to see how far up I want that to go. And I can line up. I'm using the grid lines on my Stamparatus grid paper. Okay, and then 
We'll ink it up again. There we go. Mac, what are you doing? He found something on the floor and he's crunching. Who knows what I dropped? A chip, probably, from my lunch. Okay, now I have a little skinny piece of Pattern Party. Party Pattern? Pattern Party. <laughs> Designer Series Paper. It's one of the free things you can choose when you spend over $150. Or you host a workshop over $150. Don't you love that black and white stripe with that red? I love it. I have a hard time not using this black and white paper on everything. I want to use, especially the gingham, I want to use it on all the things. All the things. I love black and white paper. And I wish we had more of it. Okay. Now, we will put this right here with some dimensionals. Like that. And we're not done. Hold on. Let's stamp a little cuteness on the inside. A little cuteness. We got to go the extra mile for, for a Christmas card. Got to do, I should have left all my ink pads open. Better than that, don't we? There's his little beak. Let's do his little feet. Did I do feet on the inside? Oh, I didn't even do the inside. I thought I did. You know what, though? You know what I want to do? Where are my feet? And they're a mess. Here it is, right here. Hello, Pepper. Yes, I see you. I'm not picking you up. Sorry, friend. All right, let's do the little antlers because it's so cute. Like that. And then we got red open. Let's do a little heart. Right there. Okay, now we'll put that on the inside and call it done. This stamp set um, has the Christmas sentiment, but it also has some sentiments, some words for other occasions. Um, I like the one that says, be cool, be chill, be merry, to the coolest friend ever. I like you a lot -le. It's like a little except a lot. That's like for the inside and the outside. Lots of thanks, happy birthday, season's greetings. So, you know, that, that, stamp, that stamp set will carry you through further than the holidays. Pepper, I can't pay you up. No, I'm not giving you another cookie either. Go, 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 go. That's my dog. She hears me talking and thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> had a Zoom with my team this morning. She would not leave me alone. So she's already had a bone. She's already had a cookie. Okay, now we have one more project. Where did I put it? Right here. So I searched high and low for penguin treats. Russell Stover's, actually, I'll show you, because I found them after I had made this. And I went ahead and bought them anyway. These cute little Russell Stover penguins would be really cute in here too. These are from my grocery store, I think, H-E-B. Um, but anyway, I didn't use those. What I did use, see how it opens like that, is these little Palmer's Penguin Pals. Have you guys seen these? Um, I believe I got these at Target. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Perfect for this. So we're going to make a little box for it. And we're going to make that little punch art penguin this time too. All right, let's make the box first. Now the measurements are over on my blog, so don't feel like you have to write it all down. You can just go over there and find it. And let's hope that my measurements are correct today. Because I didn't, didn't give it a run through before. Let's see if I wrote them down the right way. Okay, first, Coastal Cabana cardstock is what I'm using. Um, six and a fourth by five. We're going to score it at... Three fourths, that's pepper. Three fourths and uh, one and a half on all four sides. Three fourths and one and a half. Okay. 
Um, then we've got this other piece that is five and a fourth by three and a fourth. And we're gonna score it at two and a fourth and three. And then we've got one more little piece, one and a half by four and a half, although I think that may be too long, we'll see. And we're gonna score it at two and a fourth and three. Okay, now that seems complicated, but it's really not. Let's let's do this. This is a it's like a box inside of a little card. All right, so this is the box. We'll do the box first. How are you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? Are you done? I'm actually almost done. My kids didn't really want a lot this year, so I had to get a little bit creative. They want big, giant, expensive things, which sorry. <laughs> You are not going to get a bunch of big, giant, expensive things. All right, this is where we're doing the Tetris. Remember the L shape? I always say it reminds me of the Tetris game. So we're going to cut those. And each time I'm cutting this, the tab on the outside, I'm cutting it at an angle. Just a little bit. Okay, so just like that. Let me cut that a little bit more. And so you're going to cut off the corner L's, the L shapes. That looks like it's angled the wrong way. Cut this one out. And last but not least, this one. And this one. And there. Now, we have to cut these tabs, these four. We're just gonna cut a slit in them. And it doesn't really matter which, you know, if you cut them from this way or this way, but I'm gonna cut them from the long side and I'm gonna cut the corners off of each one. Okay. Just a little sliver. And one more. Almost done, man. You guys, were you guys nervous about all the, everything's, you know, going to be, the stores are going to be empty. You're not going to be able to get what you want. You better shop early. It freaked me out a little bit. So it definitely got me shopping early. My oldest daughter, her birthday is December 9th. So I always do sh birthday shopping. And then I get to, you know, like I'm looking at what I have. And then I don't have enough Christmas for her because it was all for her birthday. It's every year. It's the same thing. Having a Christmas time birthday is I'm sure it's not as fun for the person but for the mom it's also like oh my gosh it's a lot all right take these tabs and see how I folded them in and I put Tombow on the outside of them and I'm going to push them in like that okay I'm not going to use the clothespins because you'll see in a second and then I'm going to take this and do that the same way. You haven't even started, Carla. Is that how you do it every year? Do you wait? Yeah, I think there's two kinds of people. The kind that get it done early, that's me. Um, and then those that wait till the end and still get it done. The problem with getting it done early, now see what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold these in and it's gonna give us a rounded edge on all four sides. The problem with getting it done early is that then I keep shopping, right? I keep getting emails and I, there's sales and then I'm like, oh, well, I'll get that. And But I, but I should be done. And I end up spending too much money. It happens to me every year. So maybe I should wait and do it the last. <laughs> Jamie, it got you going too, huh? That hysteria, that, that, that um, supply chain hysteria. I know. Okay, so that's perfect for our little penguin. And this you're going to fold. We're going to put this in here like this. But what we need to do is we need to get that little that little arm right here. And we need to put that in first. Let me see if I need to shorten. I do need to shorten. I think this needs to be by four instead of four and a half. So... If you guys make it, put four, four inches long instead of four and a half. 
So we're gonna take this and we're gonna line that up in the middle like that, okay? You gotta put that down before you put the box down so that it can go over like that. And then we'll put the box down. And you know what? It looks like my book is too small. It does, okay. Let's, it's not terribly too small, but it, I feel like it needs to be just a tiny bit bigger. All right, let's make it a little bit bigger. What did I say it needed to be? I said it needed to be three and a fourth, and it needs to be three and a half by five and a fourth. Let me, let me cut a new piece. Three and a half by five and a fourth. That way, you have a little, like a little lip around the edge um, of your box and it's not such a tight fit. So three and a half, change your measurement at three and a half by five and a fourth, okay? And then the score lines will still be the same, two and a fourth and three. I'll fix it on the blog afterwards. All right, now let's do that again. Let's bring over our little piece right here. And we're gonna line that up in the middle, right at the fold. And now let's see. Yes, yeah, see, that's better. That way he's, the book, it's like pages in a book where the cover is just a little bit bigger than the pages. All right, so we're gonna adhere him, his little box right in the middle. Okay, like that. Now, I have some button magnets. Did I put this on the, I didn't put this today, did I? I'll give you guys a link for the button magnets that I that I use. They're pretty inexpensive, they're from Amazon. Um, I will add that link today, I didn't do it. And I have found that two glue dots on either side of the magnet is good, okay? For some reason, one, isn't enough. Two though, two glue dots stuck together on your magnet. Then close that and stick that down right, whoops, right there. Okay, so then there's your magnet. So see how that closes? Boop, like that. To cover that up, I have a little scallop. This is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I believe this is the third largest. And we should have a polka dot stamp. Did we use the polka dot stamp last time? Did I not get it out? Okay, hold on. I have it right here. The little polka dot stamp is the cutest. I actually used it again yesterday on a different project. So little polka dots, Coastal Cabana. all the way around just give us some little polka dots you can put them close or far however you want to do it i like to have some that are kind of going off the edge okay now our dimensionals are right here and we'll put dimensionals this will hide that magnet and it'll give kind of a little bit of space for it to be. Push it in real good, and then put that right on top like that, okay? And boop. All right, now let's do our cute little penguin guy. He's so cute. So instead of stamping him this time, we're just gonna do the punch art, which this punch is perfect for. So you're gonna punch out the black, basic black from the larger section. And then the body is the white section. I mean, the, the basic white is that, the body part of the punch. And then we're not gonna, we're not gonna stamp those feet. We're just gonna punch them from Calypso Coral. Now there are some eyes for him. You remember the stamp that we did originally already had the eyes. This one does not, so we've got to add the little eyes. Okay, and then 
the beak. Now there's also a stamp, a penguin stamp, where he's sliding and you see him sideways. There is a beak stamp for him that's facing sideways. So if you use him, make sure you look for the sideways beak. We'll put a little heart. I just love the little heart right in the middle. Okay. And we'll do a little bit of Tombow like that. Put him right in the middle. I think I like the punch art one the most. This this one is out of cardstock. I don't know. I don't know why, but I think I like him the best. All right. The little feet right there. Right, whoops, right, try it again. Right there. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I've got a two and a fourth inch basic white circle with a two and a half inch. It's the scallop size right above the two and a fourth. So it's either two and a half I think it's two and a half or two and three fourths. I don't know. It's just this the next size up. We're gonna put all this on with dimensionals like that. Then we will put this on the little ugly, ugly little arm there. It's not very cute. But we'll put this on it and you won't see the ugly arm. Okay, like that. Now here's something that is not that is that is not carrying over. It is on the last chance list. And I'm very, very sad because I was actually going to use it in January for a Club Create. It's the Pool Party and White Striped Ribbon. Now, I know our paper is Coastal Cabana, but this ribbon is close enough. It looks just fine. And we will put a little... Doo -doo -doo, where do the glue dots go? Right here. We will put that on right above there okay so there now you could leave it like that but we need to write something on the inside so i have this little piece of basic white and i wanted to use i wanted to use that uh man did i not get that stamp out either i was distracted yesterday apparently i wanted to use that be cool be chill be merry stamp because i think it's so funny so the only way to do that, to get it to fit, is to do it sideways. So I'm doing it sideways. Okay, be cool, be chill, be merry, right there. And then, did I use pool party ink? <laughs> yeah, it'll work. They're very similar. Pool party, snowflake, or coastal cabana, whichever. Okay, and then you can just write to and from right in there. And put that right on there on the inside and you're done. Now I have this obviously as a Christmas project, but you know, that would make a cute little class treat in January or February. You might need to change the sentiment, but how cute is that? I hope you guys can find these Palmer penguins. Um, I could find them on Amazon, but they were they were more expensive, obviously, than what I had paid for them. So if you can find them locally in your store, they're so cute. And maybe those Russell Stover penguins, they would fit in there too. You could do several across. Okay, there we go. That's today's, those are today's projects. The penguin place, I'm so glad the punch is back in stock. Now, remember, tomorrow there's no Facebook Live, but on Friday, same time, 2 o'clock, we're going to do Peaceful Deer, okay? The, the other punch that was on back order for so long. Got two projects for that. Um, remember, if you want one of these make and takes for free, one of Friday's make and takes for free, and one of Monday's make and takes for free, make sure you put in your order by Monday at midnight using that host code. Minimum order is $35. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get stamp and rewards and I will still send you the free projects. Um, and don't forget to go to my blog and enter to win the Bright Bobbles bundle. All right, you guys, it was so fun. I'm so glad I got to see you today and I will be back 
Friday at our regular time, two o'clock. All right, guys, have a great afternoon. Thanks. Bye.